Well, this is your devotional for July 14th. We're looking at Proverbs chapter 27 and three nuggets of wisdom that could change your life. So pay attention and see what God speaks to your heart. Number one, beware of boasting. Beware of boasting, beware of bragging. Verses one and two. Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. Let someone else praise you and not your own mouth, an outsider and not your own lips. Bragging about ourselves, pointing out what we did, how we did it, what we're worth, what we have, whatever it is. Beware. If it, it, This doesn't mean you think poorly of yourself, but people notice when it's constantly me, 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 I, 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 look what I did. People notice it's not an attractive thing. So beware of boasting. Second lesson, seek wise friends and be a wise friend. Two sides to that coin. Seek wise people to be your friends, but also make sure that the people you're friends to, that they look at you and say, that's, that's a woman of wisdom. That's a man of wisdom. That's somebody I can go to who brings wisdom. Listen to verse nine of Proverbs chapter 27. Perfume and incense bring joy to the heart. And the pleasantness of a friend springs from their heartfelt advice. The pleasantness of a friend springs from their heartfelt advice. Be a wise friend. Be a good friend. When you bring wisdom to somebody, I want to give you a word of encouragement. Bring it from this book. I hope that this series in Proverbs and in in, in these Wednesday devotionals is giving you a, just a wealth of wisdom to bring to other people, whatever their age, whether their background, whether they're Christian or not a follower of Jesus. God's wisdom is God's wisdom. And if you have friends, speak truth to them, speak wisdom to them, and then surround yourself with people who actually give good advice, good wisdom, and who influence your life in a positive way. It doesn't mean you can't hang around people who are struggling and, and don't have a lot to offer. And maybe even if you followed their example, you'd end up on the wrong path. God wants us to connect with those kind of people, but let's make sure we're the influencer and not the one being influenced in those relationships. And then number three, just a little warning in verse 12. Watch your step. Watch your step. Here's what verse 12 says. The prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. Wise people see danger out there and go, wait a minute, I'm going to watch my step. I'm going to avoid that. But folly, foolish people, simple people, see it and go, whoop, 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 and they keep on going. They notice it, but they just don't care. And then when they fall in a pit, then when they, when they twist their ankle on uneven ground, how did this happen? They weren't wise. They weren't discerning. So the word of encouragement here from the book of Proverbs is watch your step. And if you see a bumpy road ahead, use wisdom, slow it down a little bit, and say, God, guide my steps. Lord, that's our prayer today. Guide our steps as we walk, as we follow after you. If we see pitfalls, if we see bumps along the way, give us wisdom and discernment. And we pray, O oh Lord, that you would go ahead of us and guide us forward. We pray not for an easy life, but we pray for paths we can walk in a way that honors you. And that we would avoid the pitfalls and the stumbling that could cause us to run from you, to fall from you, or to bring damage to ourselves or others. Give us wisdom in the way we walk. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, this Sunday service is at 9 and 11 o'clock. Let's join. Let's worship online on campus. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week.